I've got to be honest, I'm demoralized after the first run went bad at the very end. Here we go, you know what? Brian Potion, that's the winning potion. That's what you want for a successful run of Noida. Sally, what's going on? We are getting that good run going. Yeah, we are, goddammit. We gotta get that winning run started. It all starts by riding this down the hill and following it until it hits something and kills it. Go. Oh, we'll spin the dumb wheel, don't you worry. I certainly didn't think it would be three hours and 21 minutes in that would be responding to Joe saying hello by saying hello. That would trigger on you. You can never know what's going to happen with the word of the day. Yeah, Joe said hello fresh and it went off. My f your fritters did make me jealous, yes. Oh, chest. This is it. This is going to prove that this is the run. Here it comes. Concentrate mana, you know what? Can't complain. Concentrate mana is good. You know what? I said like a half an hour ago that I wanted more iced tea, and gosh darn it, I do want more iced tea. You still need to smash the sun into the black hole too, now you think about it? Oh, for the achievement tree? Yeah. I'm mostly focusing on like, hard unlocks first before I worry about those challenges, but those are fun to do. I also need to do that one. Yeah, working on the last achievements. The fun thing is like, I got only a few enemies left. I've killed the Leviathan three times, and he's never shown up here on the progress bar. And it's making me feel like I'm going insane. I have his picture on the the uh, the, uh, the achievement tree. The achievement. The a tree? The achievy tree. On the achievy tree, I have him, but he's not here. It's driving me insane. I haven't seen the, I, the hope, hyper... I, mean, I can't talk anymore. I gotta go get more caffeine. The hyper rare guy, I haven't seen him. And then we have the Christmas time heesy. Woof. Yeah, when you get a good run going, you do it. Does it have to be in the main worlds? It shouldn't for killing, uh... Killing Leviathan. Although, wait. I don't think Leviathan spawns in parallels, does he? I can't remember. I've only ever looked for him in the main one, and I only ever killed him in the main one, and then I went to Parallels and he doesn't spawn there because he's already dead, maybe? Maybe he doesn't spawn in Parallels. Maybe he used a method that produced trick kills? It's possible. It seems like he's kind of buggy when it comes to getting him to show up on the uh, progress bar. Right, I was gonna go- I was gonna go get some iced tea and pee. <laughs> I'm losing my mind today for some reason. BRB for just a moment. Winky face. All right, let's get some more caffeine into my body and maybe we could like focus up a little bit. Come on, wake me up inside. Sir, please. Classic Clanky. <laughs> I have no idea who that is. My housemate. Fellow streamer Abe Clancy. Oh, look, just a heart hanging out over here. Look at that. Oh, we got three bombs. Brian, concentrated mana. That's what he would do? Wake me up inside? Now, you're thinking of Lincoln Park. <laughs> wake me up inside. Can't wake up. I'm gonna be honest with everyone, I'm tired because I have a problem with starting episodes of X-Files way too late. Oh right, that's Evanescence. Isn't Evanescence with Linkin Park? It was like a little... It was a duet, right? But it'll be like, I could watch one more. One more episode of X-Files. Forgetting that they're 45 minutes. 45 god minute, goddamn minutes long? It wasn't a duet? 
And here I thought I was an ex- Oh my god, upward larva? Today, this might be the one, guys. It was the guy from Stone Sour, or 12 Stone. Stone Soup. Listen, everybody, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't- I don't know music that well. I got a box with a bunch of my audio CDs. I could show you the kind of garbage I, I have. Albums from bands called, like, Drakengard that I ordered from Germany. Because they're, like, interesting dark wave stuff. They'd be up in arms. Yes, a year or two ago that happened. But he had been struggling with depression for a while. So it was sad. Sad times. And then a few years before that, we lost Anthony Bourdain to it as well. And of course, we can't forget Robin Williams. Depression is a powerful force, unfortunately. Reach out to people if you think they are struggling. Turn to water, please. Thank you. Evanescence Link Park took place when I was flirting with EDM. Ah, I love EDM. You know nothing about them. I don't know very much either. Hell yeah, Upwards Larpa. Love Upwards Larpa. Go! Go that way! No. Oh. Alright, fine. That one's a lost cause. Oh, the fire went out on it. Ooh. Like, I could just use a bomb, but we got, like, little torches over here. Go up. Oh, that torch definitely went out. Oh, well. I see a box. Don't see any hearts or anything, so it doesn't matter. Speaking of hearts, hey! Man, we've already gotten uh, two hearts in here. Not too bad. I have a bunch of uh, CDs from a thing called In Classical Mood, where they're little, like, booklets of themed classical compositions. And then the booklet will tell you all about, like, the composer and the symphony that did this particular rendition. It's very nice stuff. Like I said, I've been moving things from one room to another, so I'm, like, reminding myself of things that I haven't looked at in a hundred years. In classical mood, seasons of love. In classical mood, the, the waterways of Venice. Like, okay. This is good. Got a little goo on me, that's alright. We'll just wash that off. Boo, boo. Things I haven't looked at in a hundred years. My X-Men and Marvel Comics card collection. Yeah, isn't it fun to think about things like you know you have them somewhere in your house, but you haven't looked at them in a while? It's like, oh my god. There's a lot of X around, isn't there? For me, that's been audio CDs. Like, I don't... I don't really use them very much, so I just forgot that I owned so many of them. Hello. Penlo there. Go that way. That one chunk of gold, 100% worth of 20 HP that burned in toxic shit. Yes! You remember that perfume that was just called exclamation mark? I definitely don't. <laughs> that was not the right wand. Whoops! Poopies. Poopies, I want it. 
Hold on, someone's bringing me chickens. I'm so tired. I'm just, I'm just like, it's tired bad in comedy. I'll... I wish I had never seen Abe Clancy's horn. <laughs> These are from McDonald's, so not the best nuggets in the world, but certainly nuggets. And that's all that matters to me. You know what? They are good nuggets. Oh, you have a special guest? Who's your guest? How can we get in here? How can we cheat our way in? We could try and make the bomb spawn in the, in the room with the chest. That sometimes works out. We could do the very dangerous game of spawn a bomb and try and kick it up there. Which definitely wouldn't get us killed. Damn it. Should have waited an extra second. Her name is Molly? Oh my. <laughs> Mona, I did that earlier today and for some reason my brain just forgot. You're absolutely right. Fucking shit! This one chest had Meteor Sade, Divide by 10, Circle of Vigor, Omega Black Hole. All right, let's go kill ourselves in the next two seconds so we can all be very disappointed. Yeah, immediately die. Divide by ten that black hole. Want to see how fast one man can die? I'm glad I spent the time trying to get to that chest, because that was apparently the best chest I've ever seen in... in my life! What do we got here? Berserkium? What's on the surface, though? Is it just Berserkium? Is this one of those filled with water? Poozles? but somehow got a bunch of berserky in it. Oh, back up the save? No. At some point when we are a little bit further along and like things might become unstable, we will start backing up. But if we die, we die. Like uh, one thing I do want to do sometime in the very near future is I do want to play around with the spell lab mod and just like do the various like puzzles and tests that mod has and also just mess around with like what happens if we make a spell that's this this and this like just really go nuts satisfy all of our curiosity for weird spell combinations Hmm. Find a Nola for it? Where's the fun in that?
Invisibility might be all right. We could also do what we've been doing and do the second floor, come back up for the first, and re-roll this for 200. Even if we re-roll in the next floor, we can keep the price cheap up here. Invisibility might just be nice for, like, ghosting our way through areas. Delayed cast, divide by ten, hexagonal cast, spiral path, gigapuddy. Gigapuddy. Not terribly impressed with the floor one ones. I actually left a little premature, didn't I? Save the heart. Oh, you're right. We have circle of vigor. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Nice. Managing 200. Yeah, that's what I thought. We got some very expensive things. With what you've got now, I can't do shit. Like, 500 mana drain, 200 mana drain, 120 mana drain. One of those I can't even get in this fucking wand. Even with these wands. 250 mana max, 150 mana max, 450. We could cast not Omega Black Hole, but we could fit the other two in there maybe. 170, 630. It's gonna be a few floors before we could use some of these things. It's just fucking crazy we found them on floor one. A hundred percent that would murder me. I haven't showered in a few days. It's normal, don't worry about it. Look at these little guys. Alright. Honestly, we might just move right along. Leave the heart behind. Leave the spell refresher? Ah, uh, we'll take the spell refresher. Yeah. Heck, we could even uh, bring myself up to full health right now. Not bad. Not gonna buy any of these wands, because we're coming back here anyway. I'm gonna re-roll this. Or, you know what? Maybe I just take invisibility. Let's agonize for a second over easy first floor choices. While eating chicken nuggets. Invis is guard to use, hard to use? Invisibility can carry for a long time. Like, you can literally walk past, like, overlap sprites with all the enemies in the game with invisibility, as long as you're not stained. And on floors like Heasy Base, that's kind of nice. Contract a mumble mouth in your hands? That's. Not bad. Mumble Mouth will give you the locations of secrets and hints. I actually really like Mumble Mouth.
Like, it's kind of low power, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna grab it. Survivability will be nice. But I need my hand. It just means you can't put equipment on the hand. You could probably still use weapons and stuff with it, right? <laughs> Run, ruined, restart. Oh, I thought you couldn't, like, wear armor on the part. If you can't use your hand, that's bad. Get rid of that. Nah. I'm gonna let floor two give me some good stuff, maybe. There are ways to cure Mumblemouth. You can amputate the hand. Let's see, you can amputate your hand, um... The Corpus Colus might have a solution for it. I don't remember. You're brine, right? Water and brine? Let's turn this into just water. So you can amputate and you can go into one of the chambers that, like, regrow limbs. You can amputate and use the, um... Uh, the syringe that regrows limbs that I'm forgetting the name of? Yeah, the corpus does have a cure? Alright. It's liquids. Liquid snake? Oh, a wand immediately. Thank god. Oh, nice. And engage stealth mode. You can get more hands. How do you amputate? Ah, uh, there's a way to do it. I can't remember it right now. I've done it on stream before. I've amputated one of my legs. Oh, you're true, kid. So, Trukin, you can find, like, the chambers that will heal you. I forget their names. Um, where can you definitely find those? I don't think the Barathamites have one until... I want that heart. I deserve that heart. Ooh, wait a minute. Does that wood go that way? It does. Can I somehow get fire to you? Not like that. Oh! All according to plan. I'll light myself on fire again, and then I'll use my body to light that on fire. Go on, ignite. Ignite, what are you, damp wood or something? Why aren't you on fire yet? Light me on fire again. Do it. Night, you son of a bitch. Go on fire. God damn it. A plus gaming. These are the things I'm willing to try and do. That's it. Here at Shake the Box, we believe in thinking outside the box to solve your problems. Nice. Miscreating a pressure barrier. It's possible I just wasn't, like, holding enough contact for it. Oh, Nuggies. Exactly. Schrodinger was all about 
thinking outside the box. Schrodinger was really about putting the tiger on the table and parting the kimono. kind of synergistic thinking that we need more of. This will probably eventually go down and into the little thing I want, but I'm, I'm kind of impatient. Let me confirm it would have done that. It wouldn't have. All right, I made the right call. Tigers are for petting. That's what I learned from not watching the Tiger King. A show I did not watch. Corporate speak is just funny to me, that's why I like saying things like Part the kimono, put the tiger on the table Oh, definitely there for heavy petting Excuse me. Stealthy. No one ever expects the invisible wizard. Thank you. That's the piece of the pixel you wanted to remove to let me move around. Interesting. Once again, there's a wand. But I want it. Want that wand. Need that wand. How do we get to that wand? Let's figure that out. That's empty space right there. One bomb here might do it. What do you got for me? I'll take it. Should I try the fungal caverns a little bit? We have 69 health, nice. We could at least poke our nose in. Be nice if we could find... Ambrosia. Ambrosia would be quite nice to have. Another wand, don't mind if I do. R.I.P. that one guy. Whoops, set my whole fire. You have things that need shifting. <clears throat> we could do a little bit of shifting. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, watch water get replaced by chaotic polymorphine. We're early in the run, so I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to experiment. Make a shift on the floor. Always cast chaotic arc. Chaotic path, rather. Wow, there's good stuff in here. Let's do it. Let's see an egg sack in there. I don't have any more... Diggies. Well, the boom booms are gone. Wand. Wand! Bat! God, that show's so good. Pants on the Floor song from forever ago? That's something I have not heard in many a moon. Many, many, many a moon. Iron, how's your, uh, how's your caffeine experiment going? Any better or worse today? You watch that blood. I don't want any of that on me. Hmm. I mean, it's better than my starting wand. Not by much. I'll take it. Oh, 
Oh fuck, there's a lot of Terminators over there. Okay, this is a safe little area to do a little bit of, uh, mushroom tripping. Might be able to take a peek over there, too. Chaotic polymorphine! Let's find out what happens, shall we? Come on, don't exist anymore. Big money, big money, no whammies. Yes, I'm caught up on what we do in the shadows. It's incredible. I love it. Not surprised, of course. Oh, fuck. <sighs> now we stealthily get out of here. We turned it into swamp. That's a nice one. Season 3 of what we do in the shadows. Not so good in your opinion. Really? I really dig it so far. Like, I'm a big fan of the fact that they're changing up the dynamics of the characters a little bit. I feel like there's a lot of good setups for what will be future storylines. You've managed to cut out coffee and energy drinks entirely. You've cheated with soda several times, so that's nothing compared to the other two. Yeah, like, having a little bit's fine. You just want to make yourself get to the point where you're not, like, dependent and suffering from withdrawal headaches. You should definitely be proud of yourself. Well, if a mod would kindly time out snare playing. <laughs> it's always amusing when someone redeems the time the time myself out thing. Enemy radar, knockback on spells, projectile eater. That's that's a re-roll right there. Break the sugar addiction. Break the cycle, man! Oh, a piece of candy. Something's exploding underneath me very violently. It's making me a little scared. It's like my favorite thing. Gopper loves timing people out. some good time on that wand. No free rise! <laughs> Luckily we got circle of vigor. Alright, let's do a re-rolly. Come on! Something good! Wow! One more. Cordyceps. God damn it. Exploding gold. None of these are good for what we're trying to do today. They're in fact somewhat anti-synergistic. I do want to try and keep our reroll costs somewhat low if possible. So Cordyceps has the problem that we're trying to escort a creature that we don't want to die. Cordyceps makes explosions all around that could kill it. Luki minion will fuck him right up, so we can't take Luki minion. Exploding gold is relatively safe. Yeah, we might come back later to re-roll. Just sucks not taking perks. But we gotta be careful. We gotta. It's a very curated experience we need to pull off here. Let's hold on to one of these. Hold on to you. Hold on to you.
Non shuffle, non shuffle, 160. Of course, chaotic path is bad. And the mana is pretty bad, too. Uh, we'll ditch you. What do you like? Honestly, this is. This is all I'm gonna need for a while. <clears throat> Thought you already brought him to his place. The big boy died, Snare. We couldn't get the big guy there. That's who we're working with. Should gamble with two random parks. Can't take it. It's frustrating. Like, uh, you have to build the run carefully around the quest. It's a tricky one. Alright, we're gonna come back later and take a different perk. I should probably take the spell refresher, shouldn't I? So I have a few bombs. Yeah, like, I could easily cut soda out of my life. It's already a thing I don't drink anyway very often. Uh, I do enjoy a, a sugary iced tea, but overall it's not that sugary. What I do is I take, um, I take, uh, you know, like one of those big iced tea jugs that you can get at the store. Fucking, uh, Pure Leaf or whatever it's called. One of those big guys. Uh, and I just do, like, two scoops of sugar into the entire bottle, and then it's a whole bunch of, uh, whole bunch of teas added. So it's sweet, but it's not that sweet. Certainly not nearly as sweet as, like, what was in there originally. Honestly, I might even, like, bring it down to one scoop, because I know it's too sweet for Andrew. I'm really here for that strong flavor. I got on green tea all last year, but once I had that first sip of coffee again, I, I couldn't cut it. Coffee is tricky for me. <clears throat> for those that don't know, uh, I was... I was hospitalized once for... <laughs> For extreme dehydration from uh, drinking too much coffee and not eating food during a particularly manic episode in my life. Uh, and I've had like reactions to coffee ever since. Like if it if it tastes too much like the coffee I had for that episode. He doesn't know where I am. He's shooting where I was. Now you're dead, suckers! Anyway, like, I can have a psychosomatic response to just the flavor of coffee sometimes, which is no good. To the point where, like, coffee ice cream is off the menu for me for a little while. But these days, I'm, I'm mostly fine, but coffee can still make me feel a little sick from time to time. Uh, chaotic polymorphine turned into swamp. Did I die? No, I managed to somehow pull out of that one alive. Basically, the story goes, uh, I had a manic episode, and I went uh, quite, quite a little bit. It was mostly over the course of three days. I didn't drink any water, and I drink, didn't eat any food, and I didn't sleep. Uh, I was just sculpting, sculpting a, a full head bust that would later turn into a mask. And over the course of it, just no sleeping, no eating, no drinking any water. It was just me and coffee. And uh, then I found myself with, uh... Oh, God! Experiencing some, uh, unpleasant, uh, pains in the chest area. I'm like, oh, I might be dying. Let's not die. Let's not die. Ooh, that was scary. Really should have taken Circle of Vigor with me. Anyway, yes, extreme chest discomfort happened. Uh, oh, holy shit, had that sniper bullet gone off. I called, uh, called the EMTs on campus and was like, I might be dying. And that's how I learned a few things. I learned what mania was and what bipolar was. And I learned, uh, that extreme dehydration can cause very discomforting sensations. Oh, thank you, 421. I'm also glad I'm healthier now. Alright, let's just, uh, sneak out of here, maybe. 
Yeah, the snipers are bad. Really, what always gets me are, uh, I call them the Mama Hisi. I don't know what their actual goddamn name is. Let's find out. <clears throat> Where are you bastards? The Mama Hisi, these guys. The, either the Murko Hisi or the Iso Hisi, who have the multiple big lob explosions. And those, uh, when they die, they become more enemies. Psychosomatic, addict, insane. I must be getting truly old. Everything's reminding me of this from my youth. Very good. One of your chefs passed out on the line in the middle of the rush from dehydration. Service was rough that night. Dehydration's no, jo no joke. Like, me and a big old water bottle is a direct result of that. Like, I had to learn. Like, you gotta, you gotta have water near you, and you gotta be sure to drink it. Here, we take a shot. We back up, we go invisible. Uh oh, uh oh. Of course, this garbage monster is going to keep on shooting forever. Sneak underneath. Think you're big shit? Huh? You think you're hot shit? Little fight going on behind me. We'll let them fight. There, there's one of the mama he see I'm talking about. Their attacks can hurt quite badly. Was a little weird. Ooh, hello there. I do love you. <clears throat> Got some real garbage perks here. You know what? Some extra resistance to projectile damage is not bad. Not being slowed down in slime is not bad either. Get that big saw? Alright. Oh shit! Oh, I don't know what happened. I was about to buy it, but something uh, something interrupted me. I don't... I don't... Uh, just don't know what happened there. Yes. Yeah, the lobby to not have him put his dick in the face. May your nights be dark and aromatious. Aromatious. Pronunciation is hard. Hmm. Be nice to have a slightly different wand put together, but don't really have the components for it yet. All right, willing to ditch this one, willing to ditch this one, willing to ditch this one. <laughs> and then we have a bubble of protection, and we're invisible. Urgh. Need to get some money. We'll just carefully make our way through and collect some money. Oh, fuck. Fuck right off. Don't you touch that wand! Ah, oh, whatever. you 
stop. Oh, you're a real bastard. You're a real piece of work, you know that? <gasps> Catch you later, Iron Core. Thanks for popping in. Alright, the shop was on the right-hand side the last two times. I'm gonna assume it's on the left today. Now. Melts! Melts! Well, melted that. That works. It's exceedingly dangerous, please. Oh, if someone has a wand, I do want. Thank you for dying. Ah, oh, where'd they go? Drop it! Yes. It's supposed to be 50-50, but I find it's on the right-hand side more often, but... Every time I'm like, yeah, it's on the right, it's not on the right. That happens, like, every time. Grab that. I see a sniper with another wand. That could be a good one. It has always cast oil cloud. Excellent. You know, you know, that's what we want. Chainsaw, teleport, there's a lot to like here. I'm gonna ditch a uh, bomb. What we got here? Ooh, electric. Lightning rock. Oh, crowded area. Stealth. This is helpful. We're playing this as a stealth game right now. <laughs> Changing up the dynamics a little bit. Alright, the mama died, which of course means we have a thousand friends now. Random garbage is gonna come out of that, it's no good. So many friends. Can't heal robots. That is very much cheating. Stop that. Gotta use the environment to your advantage. Dunk! Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. It's a little frustrating. Noida Gear is solid, yes. 
Don't get noticed. Oh! So, uh, obviously, you know, I like Ice Ball. I like Box. There's a lot to like in here. Primarily what I like is it's a non-shuffle wand with uh, somewhat decent stats for right now. Yeah, downward LARP a box would be fun. Trick is... What do I replace? So this one, what ha what does it have? We got Matter Eater, that's nice. Always cast Oil Cloud could be very funny. I guess this is the box I could give up. I do want Teleporter Bolts. Like, there's things here I want. I feel like a Magic Bolt with Trigger might be more important. This is really helpful just for digging. Like, Energy Orb has that nice little AoE explosion that doesn't harm you. So it's great for digging around. I'm sure we'll get other triggers as we go. Overrated. I like it. I like that one. Take a look at that. We can go wherever we want with this. Oh, we got the LARPA. We have upwards LARPA right here. That's not downwards LARPA. That's downward bolt bundle. I thought I thought you were referring to the LARPA we got earlier. Don't worry, that, that wasn't a LARPA. We might want repelling cape if it comes up. That would obviously help us out. Well, ignore me. Well, I'm not gonna ignore you. I'm just gonna be like, oh, don't worry. They look very similar. I understand exactly why you made that uh, that uh, that mistake. They look almost identical. Stealth mode, engage. Engage! Colonel, I'm in. The place seems to be guarded by various robots. Automated sentries of some kind. I see that man found a magic wand. I'm concerned, Colonel. No, no. Oh, Jesus. Thank you for not shooting me. Noida? Noida? Noida! There's a box, I was like, just waiting for it to explode. Colonel, my stealth camo's gone offline. I'm 33% wet. It's holding me back, Colonel. Attempting to make a... Uh... Enemy down. Ah, uh, Mei Ling! Mina just took her cloak off. Why are you making <laughs> making me say dirty things? Okay, his wand shoots two bombs at a time. I kind of want that guy to pick it up now. It'll be like in that movie, Mom and Dad Save the Universe, with a grenade that says, <coughs> Pick me up. Actually, very on brand for Metal Solid. Yeah, it is. Oh my god, the shop was on the left. Look at that. Could have had energy orb that way, transportation field. We don't have uh, teleportatium, so. A lack and a lass. Looks like we're not buying none of these. Hmm, Colonel! A hind D, Colonel! What's a Russian gunship doing 
and Kisi Base. Snake, don't worry about it. Stop asking questions and do the mission. A colonel! Snake, listen to me. It literally doesn't matter. Just stop. Trying to flank me, Colonel. Yeah, enjoy that fucking vapor. He vapes. That was a really bad idea. Ah, uh, it all worked out. Sometimes a bad idea is the first step of a good idea. Engaging stealth mode. Let's go, Colonel. You never saw it coming. You never see it coming. That 1% of water off me. Engage stealth mode. Get the shield up. Yeah. Alright, stealth mode. Where'd their money go? I did that for the money! How did it get in there? What was that noise? Whose footprints are those? What was that noise? God. Like some kind of ninja. Weird, I thought he was holding a wand. Oh well. That was wrong. Engage stealth. Stealth noise is like. <laughs> it's a different way to play. You're a coward and your bloodline is weak. I already, like, I'm struggling to hold on to these ones, and you want me to replace one when I couldn't decide to let go of one before? You're insane. Levitadium, huh? Stealth me up. like me a digging blast but we got we got these there's a better non shuffle wand though ah it's not that much better oh a plasma weapon run ender well you're right it does have the teleport I do want the teleport I can't use it for digging now but Oh god! Colonel, the camo! <coughs> Sniper wolf! The 
could still be honor in this battle. <coughs> Love gravity fields. What shaming is that? Direction I'm pointing. Not the one I want. Piece of candy, huh? What have we got? A Haichu. I'll have a Haichu. 